April's update on our solar and battery performance and also our costs for the month. It's a little late this update but um, we'll bear with it. Um, this is our setup that we have at home. Uh, please feel free to pause the video and and take note of what we've got in the house to achieve these numbers. Moving straight onto the home usage, we used 1.26 megawatt hours. We had a, a low of 11.7 kilowatt hours and we had a high of 90.2 kilowatt hours, which gave us an average of 42 kilowatt hours per day. Moving on to our generation from solar, that was 902.9 kilowatt hours, so just short of one megawatt hour which is 30.1 kilowatt hours on average per day from the tesla power wall we got 320.1 kilowatt hours and as you can see the grid pull is now getting less and less as we produce more excess solar pv and finally we pulled 396 kilowatt hours from the grid it's also worth noting at this point as well the first five days of the month we were actually on holiday so um the numbers may look a little bit low at the beginning of the month but we only average 13.2 kilowatt hours per day um, from the grid when you look at um, our three solar arrays or three inverters and um, you can see that we've had quite a poor month in april 2023 and um, compared with last year especially and um, we're, we're some 83 kilowatt hours down but we produced 390.1 kilowatt hours from our original inverter. We produced 383.3 from our second inverter, which is also three kilowatts. And our small 1.2 kilowatt peak low level array produced 129.5 kilowatt hours. That's 902 point kilowatt hours in total. Moving on to our running totals now we've now done 2303 miles this year in the two electric cars and um, we've now we put in 159.1 kilowatt hours into the cars in april and 95 of them came directly from the sun or solar charging and um, so we've had a cost of 63 pounds and 31 pence so far this year to do them 2303 miles and we got six days of grid free um, running and that was when we were on holiday at the beginning of the month moving on to our average costs uh, per kilowatt hour in april that's 13 pence from what we drew from the grid and when you include what we generated from solar that brought our average cost down to 4.6 pence per kilowatt hour in april and our average costs um, for the year now are 11.8 pence per kilowatt hour from what we drew from the grid when you include what we generated from the solar as well that brought our average cost down to eight pence per kilowatt hour it's worth noting as well the octopus intelligent tariff is now dropped to seven and a half pence off peak rate and when you look at where the 1382 kilowatt hours went in april of 2023 we exported 94.6 kilowatt hours and the water heating used 211 kilowatt hours our general home, that's everything we've not got monitored, used 435.4 or 4 kilowatt hours. Um, clothes cleaning and drying, that used 64.6 kilowatt hours. Cooking used 46.2 kilowatt hours. Our space heating is considerably lower in April and that's down to 333.7 kilowatt hours. Car charging was 159.1 kilowatt hours and xbox usage used 37.6 kilowatt hours and when we look at the 4.6 pence per kilowatt hour average that we had our grid export money would have cost us four pounds and 35 pence our water heating cost us nine pounds 70. our general home was just over 20 pounds at 20 pounds and a penny uh, clothes cleaning cost us two pound 97 cooking cost us two pounds and 12 pence our space heating was 15 pounds and 35 pence our car charging was seven pounds and 31 pence and our xbox gaming cost us one pound and 72 pence in april and finally to summarize up until the end of april 2023 we've been grid free for six days we've done 2303 miles at a cost of 63 pounds and 31 pence 
We've imported 5,481.3 kilowatt hours. We've generated 2,026.1 kilowatt hours. So that's a total electrical usage of 7,507.4 kilowatt hours. The electricity cost has been £640.31 and it's worth mentioning we don't have any gas at this point as well. Um, our FIT payments, uh, which we will get four of in before the end of the year, but so far we've only had one at £206.15. We've had uh, £231.68 back from Octopus through rewards and campaigns. So we've got a balance of £202.48, including VAT and daily charges, as our running total of our energy costs so far in 2023. As usual, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe, and I'll leave you with day-by-day -day Tesla data from the app.